Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. It's working. A3D Titan mount, this is the final version. It's working and I'm a happy man. This represents probably about 100, maybe 150 hours worth of work. Most of it came from, most of the work was in designing it. And then there was a lot of debugging, prototyping, I made like three different versions of this mount. This is the final one. It was also the BL Touch, the Octoprint. In order to install the BL Touch on the ANET A6, you have to either disable the SD card support or the EEPROM support in the firmware. In order to do that, I wanted to keep EEPROM because I like to be able to set my permanent settings through the um, the LCD so I definitely wanted to keep the EEPROM support so that meant getting rid of SD card support which meant I couldn't print off the SD card anymore so I've been wanting to put Octoprint on this anyway so I got a Raspberry Pi and um, I got Octoprint I can now monitor my my printer through Octoprint I, I was able to do that before with a cell phone but um, Octoprint is much better so a lot of work to set it up because I got two routers that I need to port forward through port forwarding through one router is hard enough but when you never done it before I had to port forward through through two routers now that I know how to do it I could probably show you how to do it but I struggled with it I struggled with it for a while when you add all that up it added up to a lot of time, a lot, a lot of time. Not to mention that I had problems. I originally had a Titan clone extruder. The gears were kind of out of round on it, and it wouldn't run with the pancake motor. You know, it would get to a certain point, and then it must have got to a bigger part of the gear. It would seize up. And then I'd get, you know, filament clogs, and oh, it was a mess. So then I ordered a original Titan extruder from E3D. Well, it wasn't from E3D, it was from a seller here in the United States. And I got just the uh, Titan extruder, you know, without the brackets, without the mount, without the E3D V6, because I had all that. Roughly 65 bucks. If I had to do it over again, I wouldn't even bother buying the clone. Clones are crap. You might get lucky and get one, a good one, but they're really, in my opinion, I think you're probably saving 20 bucks, maybe $30 if you get a really good deal on a clone. I'm talking just for the extruder body now. I spent hours and hours trying to get that clone to work. This one, I put the pancake motor on it, ran like a gem right off the bat. I had a problem with a BL Touch clone. I had ordered a brand new BL Touch clone from Triangle Labs on AliExpress. It's a great deal, right? $17. Shipped to my door. That turned out to be a piece of crap. I spent a couple of days trying to make that work. And I had gone over my firmware, you know, entries and all that. I, re I redid that like 10 times. That wasn't the problem. It was the, that freaking clone. A 3D touch clone. What a piece of crap. So, another delay, right? I ordered a, a genuine BL touch. That came pretty quick. It took about four days to get here in California. Again, the difference between the clone and the original, $30 difference. I wasted two days fixing that piece of shit, and it never worked. For $30? $30 difference? get original BL Touch, get an original Titan clone. That's all I gotta say. Otherwise, you're just getting an inferior product. I mean, I know not everybody's got a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. You know, $30, I make a lot more than that in a day, let me tell you. And uh, I wasted two days. Two days on the Titan clone, and two days on the BL Touch clone. That's four days total. You might as well call that a week's pay that I missed out on. Of course I did it on nights and weekends, but I could have been done doing something else, you know what I mean? 
don't waste your money on the clones. That's my word of advice. Do what you want. I kind of listened to others that said, oh, the clones work great. They work just as well. That's because they never had an original. The originals, they're beautiful. I mean, uh, you can tell the difference in the quality. I mean, you put them side by side. And Anyway, I'm going to do a video on that. But getting back to this. This thing is running great. It is running absolutely awesome. So I had a ton of assembly footage for this thing. It was boring. I didn't want to bore you to death with the assembly footage. I'm going to put a link in the description below for the Thingiverse files. All, all of it is available on Thingiverse. I'm going to be doing a video on the Titan clone versus the Titan original and also the BL Touch clone versus the original BL Touch. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you, if you plan on doing this upgrade, um, first thing you want to do is print out the files, print out the parts. I suggest doing them in uh, PETG or ABS. Um, I don't really have any experience with ABS, so I print it in PETG. You need something that's kind of heat resistant because the E3DV6, the... Um, uh, the nozzle cooler actually fits up in there so you need something that's kind of heat resistant the fan blows on it and it doesn't really get really hot the next thing you're going to want to do and I'm telling you this because I learned this the hard way the next thing you're going to want to do is set up OctoPrint on your printer you need to do that because you need to um, disable SD card support so the OctoPrint already has an SD card installed. So basically what you do is print right to OctoPrint. And uh, in Cura, I use Cura. I'm saving up my pennies for um, Simplify 3D, the new version. But in Cura, you can just export right to OctoPrint. Now, just setting up OctoPrint is an adventure in itself. Print out the parts, set up OctoPrint. Then you're going to want to go to Thingiverse and you're going to want to set up your BL Touch in the firmware. Hey, there goes my puppy. Hey, Nala, baby. You guys ever seen my puppy? Look at, look at Nala. Look, Nala. Look. She's such a good girl. Yeah, you're going to want to go to Thingiverse and you're going to want to... Um, I'm looking at my computer screen here. You're going to want either search for installing the BL Touch on ANET A6, and that's by Wenzedge. W E N Z E J. That's what he goes by on Thingiverse. And um, he's got the complete procedure for setting up the BL Touch. I'll put that link in the description below. You're going to want to order all your stuff. You're going to want to order. I'm not even going to recommend that you order a clone. Do what you want. Get the uh, Titan extruder body. There's people on, on eBay selling them. Just make sure you get the original, okay? You're going to want to get an original BL Touch sensor. You're going to want to get a pancake motor. They got them on eBay. They got them on AliExpress. You're going to want to get some sheet metal screws. All the um, holes are provided. You know, the pilot holes are all provided in the... Um, the design of the carriage and I list on my listing on Thingiverse the screws that you're going to need to assemble it. As far as OctoPrint goes there's plenty of tutorials online for for setting up OctoPrint. That's where I would that's really where I would start start with OctoPrint and then and then print out your parts order order the parts that you need. I also suggest that you guys use these here okay this right here I'm gonna put a link in the description for the Thingiverse link for those also because that moves the um, the limit switch over to here I got, I got it kind of Mickey Mouse right now but it, it's working fine you can do a nicer job on that but the way it's set up it um, it hits the side of the body right here so that's pretty much it guys. It's definitely a worthwhile upgrade. Um, but it's going to be time consuming. I'm warning you right now. 
But I'm, I'm trying to save you guys some work and telling you how you need to do it. So I hope this video was helpful. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give me, give me a thumbs down. Leave some comments below if you have any questions or suggestions or whatever. Okay, I'm available. I, I try to answer all my comments. I don't have millions of comments, so I, I really try to uh, answer every single one of them. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you're interested in the ANET A6 and upgrading the ANET A6, I have a lot of videos. Also, um, check out the playlist. I'm going to put a link for that probably right around here. Thank you so much for watching.